last night. Tiger Woods issued a statement on Twitter, the first time we've heard from him publicly since his Memorial Weekend DUI arrest. Here's the full statement. I'm currently receiving professional help to manage my medications and the ways that I deal with back pain and a sleep disorder. I want to thank everyone for the amazing outpouring of support and understanding, especially the fans and players on tour. With me now to discuss this new revelation are Golf.com's Ryan Aselta, and joining us via Skype is Sports Illustrated senior writer Alan Shipnuck. Alan, just how surprised are you with Tiger's statement and the report that he's checked himself into an inpatient treatment facility? Well, not at all. I mean, the guy clearly needed help. This seems like the right move to take care of himself. Uh, he doesn't want to lose custody of his kids. He doesn't want to be on any more dash cam videos. Um, you know, golf is very secondary at, at this point. Uh, I, I think, you know, Tiger's getting the help he needs. I think we should applaud him for that. There's certainly been a great outpouring uh, among the players and other people around the tour that they're here, you know, here to help in any way they can. And uh, I think that's the most important thing for Tiger is just just to get better and 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 take the help he needs and and start a new chapter in his life from a, a healthier, drug-free perspective. Ryan, how do you think this affects Tiger's comeback timeline at this point? You know, Jess, I don't even think there is a comeback timeline at all right now. When his agent says there's really no timeline, I kind of believe him because it, it, golf is really secondary, even you know, third on his list of priorities at this point. It's get healthy, get healthy physically, get healthy mentally. It's great to hear that he is in an in, in, uh, patient treatment facility getting some help, especially when you hear um, some of the things going on. The pain that he has been on from his back surgeries combined with the insomnia the average person, that is usually a road uh, that is very, very treacherous to go down. It leads to a lot of other problems. So the fact that Tiger is getting help right now is a great sign. Heck, take a year off. Figure things out. Get healthy. If we get a, a healthy Tiger back a year from now, maybe we get five, six good years out of him. Mm -hmm. But it starts right now, and he's taking the first step. I'm wondering, Alan, given what Ryan is saying, you know, we could have maybe five or six more years of a healthy Tiger should Tiger really come back at this point? I think that's the, the biggest question that everyone is asking, given everything that he's endured, the stops and the starts. It's been nine years since his last major championship. Um, you know, a lot's happened for him. Does he really need to make a comeback at this point? Well, no. I, Tiger's place in, in golf history is secure. So there, there's no need, um, except maybe as, a, as an outlet for his, his competitiveness and, and to give his life, you know, purpose back to him. But... Um, no, I, I think that Ty, the, the idea of Tiger coming back and, and playing on the tour regularly is quite fanciful. I mean, there's so many things working against him. Obviously, his body's been breaking down. He has these possible addiction issues. He's, he's trying to get over the shame of the first scandal in 2009, and now he has this all this new baggage from the DUI. Um, I think best case is Tiger comes back to a point, you know, physically where he could be a ceremonial golfer and maybe play in the world challenge, uh, maybe hit, hit a tee shot at Augusta and play in a handful of other low stakes events. But the idea that he's going to come back and play the tour full time, I think that I think that ship sailed a long time ago. Yeah, Ryan, we really just at this point maybe want to keep Tiger's legacy intact, right? I mean, a, a, a comeback that stalls again and again and again doesn't seem to be to be doing much. No, and it's not how you want to remember Tiger. You know, Alan, his legacy is already intact. We know what we remember Tiger for. It's the 14 major titles and the dominance over the golf world for so long. Um, any kind of comeback will be gravy at this point. I do think he'll play a little more than Alan thinks there. I don't necessarily think it'll just be ceremonial. If he's healthy, I don't think he'll ever play a full PGA Tour schedule again. But we will see him in a lot of events if he's feeling up to it physically. And that's just the question. If he gets healthy, he could be a gift uh, to the world of golf in the, in the latter stages of his career.